What's going on Chemical Guys family and thanks so much for tuning in for today's episode of Detail Garage. Behind me you see that we have this red Jeep Compass and today we're showing you guys how to quickly remove scratch and swirls from your sensitive plastics like the B-pillar which is made of a piano trim plastic which as all of us know or many of us know gets scratched very easily. So again today we're going to show you how to remove it and restore that beautiful gloss. To begin our detailing process, although this vehicle's already been washed, we came back with speed wipe just to wipe away any of the loose debris or any kind of dust that land on the surface as well as any kind of fingerprints. And then we clayed it just to ensure that we've got a perfect surface to start with by extracting any kind of contaminants that are in the pores of the plastic that could potentially cause marring or pigtailing as we polish. But for today, we're gonna move directly onto the polishing steps using our Torque R rotary polisher with an orange hex logic pad and C4 clear cut compound. So like I mentioned, we're going to be using the Torque R, which is a rotary polisher. And what that means is essentially it only spins on one axis, where as opposed to a dual action or random orbital, where it'll spin and then oscillate around that rotation. This again, is just going to spin in one direction. So it's a very quick and easy way to remove deep imperfections, but it does take a little bit of practice. So today we're going to hopefully knock out some of your misconceptions and also give you guys the confidence to use the Torque R. To begin, we already have an orange Hyperflex backing plate. This is a three inch, and we're going to apply our four inch orange hex logic pad. And this gives you about a half an inch on the outer lip, just so that the backing plate never comes in contact with the vehicle that you're working on, especially when you're working on smaller areas or contoured areas where it's difficult to get a larger machine or a larger pad in there. This is a great way to quickly and easily remove any kind of defects. And also we're gonna be using C4, which again is a clear cut one step compound. And this gives you the abrasives to knock down heavier scratches and swirls, oxidation and fading. And this is just an easy way to get through your paint correction without using multiple steps. We're just going to use a few dots since we're working on a small spot for now. And moistening the pad with pad conditioner helps to prevent any kind of dusting. It also adds longevity to your pads. So a lot of guys ask us, is it necessary to condition your pads or use some kind of conditioner? The answer is yes. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because this is going to help reduce the friction, which would potentially mar or cause excessive heat on your vehicle, which could potentially burn it. And also it's going to give your pad and also your product the proper work time so you get the best results. Now to begin, I'm just going to throw the cord over my shoulder so it's not wrapping up against the vehicle. And just dabbing out the product we're going to be using today. And then on the lowest speed setting, we'll spread this out. And then using our Torque R, I'm going to bump it up to our third or fourth speed setting. And then we're going to start working in the C4 until it goes clear or translucent. And that's when we know that we've properly broken it down. We can take a clean microfiber towel, wipe off that excess and check our work. So whenever you're using a rotary polisher, a few things to keep in mind is whenever you start the machine, it's just gonna take off. So what you wanna do is on the lowest speed setting, away from the vehicle, that's when you get it rolling and then come down onto the surface that you're working on. And then same thing as you pull off, you wanna make sure that the machine is still spinning rather than stopped on the surface where it could potentially cause a swirl. And also a lot of guys want to know what's the proper pressure to use whenever you're using any kind of machine. And with a rotary, you just want to use the machine itself because it'll generate a lot of heat. But when you're using a dual action, you can use the weight of the machine plus your hand to get that proper perfection. You'll listen for a tone change. And if you're using a rotary and it sounds like the tone is changing too much, you're probably applying too much pressure and that can cause excess heat, which could potentially burn the preset you're working on. And now that C4 has gone basically translucent, we're gonna take a clean micro towel and just wipe off any of the excess. As you see, we've taped off the area around the B-pillar and that's because there's sensitive rubber and plastic trim which could potentially stain. So to avoid a potential staining situation, we've just masked it off. This is just a quick and easy way to prevent any kind of damage. So already after using C4, I can see that there's been a tremendous difference. It's probably harder to pick up on camera, but in person, it has a very deep lustrous finish but we want to refine that even further using a white hex logic pad and P4 precision polish. Like I had mentioned, we're going to be using a white hex logic pad, which is designed for your finer polishes such as P4. And this is just a great way to jewel the paint, remove any kind of micro marring or any kind of polygrams and give your car that best result. So the same process, we're going to shake the bottle. And since we're working on a small area and using a small pad, we're just going to apply two or three dime sized dots. 
But again, we're going to use pad conditioner just to prevent any kind of excess heat and also give us the proper work time with our polish. Now once again, after working P4 into the surface, it's gone basically clear, translucent if you will, and we're going to take a clean microfiber towel just to wipe off any of the excess and spent product. And what's great about P4 and C4 is since they're virtually one-step products, they break down very quickly, and this is going to cut down a polishing time, which gives you more time to do the rest of the vehicle if you're polishing the entire vehicle, or move on to the rest of the detailing process. Now, although I can tell there's a clear difference here in person, I'm going to show you guys that before and after, which is why I've taped down the section here in the center, just to give you guys before and after and show you what it looked like before. Even though this is an area that a lot of people may not think to polish or they don't understand that it can be polished, once you do polish it, you can tell that there's a huge transformation and this is how you're going to want your car to look all the time. And there you have it, guys. The combination of C4 and P4 remove those deep scratches and swirls as well as any kind of oxidation and staining. Just to show you guys that huge transformation that we've given you, that 50-50. And this is a process that you can use virtually on any surface around your vehicle that is glossy painted, shiny, or clear to again remove any kind of water spot staining, swirls and scratches, and oxidation. Now once that beautiful shine has been achieved, you want to put some type of protective coating on the surface, whether it be a ceramic or a combination of glaze sealant and wax, and that's going to prevent any kind of harmful elements from staining the surface, as well as enhancing your gloss and also adding protection. Alrighty guys, I'm going to continue polishing off these B-pillars to give them a uniform shine, and then afterwards, I'm going to apply Hydra Slick, which is one of my favorite ceramic waxes. And this is just an easy way to add a durable layer of protection while also enhancing your gloss. So guys, if you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, drop your comments down below in the comment section with any questions you may have or anything else you guys want to see us film. Also, if you want to check out any of these products, be sure to head over to the website, chemicalguys.com or the local detail garage, and we'll see you next time.